sharing a little bit of motivation today. It's midweek. Hope everybody's doing well. Another beautiful day. I'd like to share that. Oh man, look at the sunshine. Bluebird sky. Out here doing a little workout. Trying to help me get over the hump. This tire flipping is something else. I was thinking about a workout challenge that I've been doing. This will be my this will be my third official year. Meaning I actually register for it and get receive a t-shirt. It's called the Murph Challenge. And it is on standby. All right. My son was hollering at me. But it's called the Murph Challenge. And it is a workout that is done on every Memorial Day holiday in memory of a Navy SEAL who was killed, I believe it was in 2005. And um, to do this workout in his memory, and uh, of course, in mem and uh, <clears throat> many other memories of men and women who sacrificed their lives for our freedoms and liberties. And I was just realizing that uh, I want to try to do a good time this year. It normally takes me about an hour. So what I started doing, I started focusing on my pull-ups, my push-ups, my squats. The, the workout itself includes, you start with a one-mile run, and you're trying to do all this as fast as you can. And you do, I believe it is 100, it's 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then you end up finishing with another one-mile run. And you do all of that in a timely fashion with a 20-pound weight vest or body armor. So that adds to it when you put that weight on it. So I got here the other night and started trying to focus on that. Just trying to find some some motivation for myself. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, it, it's easy for me to... Um, I probably talk about this too much. But I thought I'd just share, just kind of thought of my mind. It's easy for me to be lazy and to kind of just want to quit and, and get out of just doing things. I, I kind of catch myself getting in a mental rut. But when I can get out here and exercise, listen to some good music, and enjoy some beautiful weather, it really helps me kind of clear my head and, and gain a little bit of a clarity with a lot of things. And uh, I'm sorry about that. My son was doing something. <laughs> A lot of distractions. That's funny. I uh, ran into somebody also this morning, and we were talking about distractions. How many of us have distractions in our life? Uh, every one of us have some form of distraction or distractions. And if I believe we were all honest with ourselves and each other, we would say we have distractions. I know I have a lot of them. And just from day to day, moment, you know, minute to minute, just from hour to hour, you know, the distractions that I allow in my life distract me from, first of all, my family. Second of all, from my occupation. And then the list, the list goes on. Just allowing distractions to just kind of rule my mind. And I find a lot of times I'm just not really doing anything because I have allowed myself to be so distracted. And I was kind of thinking, really, my spiritual life. With my Lord and Savior, that should be my number one, my number one priority is where Jesus is in my life. And then my wife and my children. And the list goes on from there. And I know some of you may disagree, and that's fine. It's okay for us to disagree. But I know this. When I get out here and I work out, my mind starts settling. Um, I feel good physically. I'm, I'm feeling better. I, I, I'm thankful my back is feeling so much better. That, that nerve 
issue that I was having, it's it's kind of worked its way out, and I'm trying to be real careful not to agitate it anymore and and make that an issue because I'm gonna tell you, if any of you suffer from a, a nerve issue, the sciatic nerve, wow man, Ooh, that is not a fun thing. It can take you out quickly. But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd want to share this with you real quick. Um, so my workout here today. I, I do some pull-ups. I'm trying to build. Man, pull-ups are probably my weakest form of exercise. I've never been good at pull-ups, so I'm getting into it. And I've got uh, um, the pull-ups. I do an upright rowing with my Get You Some band. I do squats with my sandbag. There's my sandbag right there. Brute force sandbag. And I've got it, I think it's at 60 pounds. And then I do push-ups. And I'm building myself up. I haven't incorporated my uh, weighted vest yet, but I will eventually do that. I'm going to try it walking first, see how that does with my back and the nerve. Hopefully it won't flare that up. But anyway, guys, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope uh, life is, is going well for you. Um, and I just want to say I appreciate everyone who's following along. I, I can't say that enough. I hope you like these videos. I hope you subscribe. And... Uh, Hope you keep following me and see you on down the road. Y'all have a good one.